Our life is full of doctor's appointments. We are in the hospital almost every other week inpatient for chemo. On the weeks we aren't, we're outpatient for chemo. My biggest job right now is to keep my daughter alive, but also to advocate for her. I'm very hopeful that Haley Holder will beat cancer. Being parents to her is the greatest joy we've ever had. Haley was 12 months old when she came first to us. Her cancer, rhabdomyosarcoma, is in itself very rare, and uh, she had stage 4, which means from the primary side it spread elsewhere. So she needs a lot of intense treatment. She had told us she had about a 20% chance to make it to the age of four. And if she beat it, that um, she had about 75% chance of it coming back. From there, we had to weigh our options, where to be treated at. And so we stayed home, we stayed at Navison, and it was hands down the best decision we ever made for our daughter. It's fairly easy to respond to treatment, but the problem is when it comes back, there's not a lot of options. Now to a critical shortage of a life-saving drug for children with cancer. With supplies running short, doctors have warned they may consider rationing it. Vincristin is one of the most commonly used chemotherapy drugs. And Vincristin is a drug where you cannot use anything else to replace it. Moving into radiation, she had to have Vincristin every week in order for it to be as effective as it needed to be. The most difficult thing was to tell the parents there's this chance that we may not be able to give the drug. Atrium was really key when they came through. It was just perfect timing for us. When we first heard about the shortage, we convened a group of physicians, nurses, pharmacists to understand where the drug was used within the system. Their response was that they needed help and they needed 20 vials. Our regional partners know that we're a resource that they could reach out to to help solve nationwide drug shortages. We found out that Atrium provided the first round of 10 vials. It was very exciting for us and we were very relieved. Because of the partnership that Navicent has with Atrium, thankfully our daughter did not miss a dose. We've fallen back on Atrium a lot of times in the last couple of months for other drugs that were back ordered. So when we have a shortage now, we'll call our wholesaler and the next call is Atrium and they've got it somewhere. We hit the lottery in healthcare for our child when we decided to stay with our children's hospital. I could not imagine trusting my daughter's life with any other people, and I, I wouldn't want to.